So we're going to go after the IPR and change it out and then we're going to retest with the air pressure test and then finally with the put the ICP sensor back in and crank it and see what our actual pressure is. So I'm going to go through that step by step right now what I do to uh, get to that IPR and change it out. Okay we got our two ports on here capped our cap is tightened we got our coolant lines over here pointing up those two eight mils are out and then all you gotta do is get a little harder one-handed and get it past there like that and then we're just gonna stand it up and out of the way like this and then we can work on the getting the thick out of there next thing we gotta do is pull two 10 millimeter bolts right there pull the worm drive clamp right there once all that's loosened then we can take a pry bar right here and we'll just pop this thing out it won't damage anything I'll show you how to do that and you take your pry bar just put it underneath there and just lift up now it's released that's all you need to do after that you just twist this upward and then yank on this at the same time and then you can pull this whole piece out together as you can see a 8 millimeter gear wrench with a flex head works perfect for the rear thickum bolts and you can see how it goes up and out of the way of the heat shield once you get those bolts out unclip the three connectors for the um, thickum here make sure you release the clips and hear them release before you start yanking them also never get them out they can be a pain and then get your thickum out of the way here's the thickum connectors I was talking about there is a release on both sides there and there squeeze them and pull down these can stay. Next, we gotta pull those two eight millimeter bolts. Now what I do, once the uh, bracket's out of the way right there, I unclip the first three injectors right here. And take the harness off the intake manifold right there. And I flip this whole fat harness out of the way over here by the turbo. Here's the connector for the IPR. It'd be like this, locked onto the IPR. You just pull up on here, or I push up on these. And then you can yank it off, get this harness out of the way, and then we can get to the IPR with nothing around it to get in our way. Pull it out, test it out. This is the setup I use. The IPR socket from Ford, obviously. Universal, 6 inch extension, and a 3 8 ratchet. Because it shouldn't be that um, tightened on there in the first place. Got it out, and it looks good. You can tell it's original. I do have a tear in the screen right here. There's an actual puncture through it. The rest of the screen looks good besides being a little pushed in. Considering the screen on the new one is that. Uh, reinforced design so it doesn't smash in the middle I think this one really is original because I've only seen this type of screen for a long time so this must be original and they can fail with age 